one moment, setting things up. Volume test. Volume test. Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Chrono Cross with Sephiroth to Yet. Now, before we head into this game, let me say tonight might be short. We'll probably be only for an hour or two. Um, because I don't want to do more than two hours on RPG or it'll eat it up too fast. It said Chrono Cross, if I finish everything, I think it takes over 40 hours to finish. It's not a small game. So before we get into Chrono Cross, you should know it belongs to a series of games. The main series are two, Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross. A lot of people haven't heard of Chrono Cross. Almost anyone who's ever gamed has heard of Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger was a game for the Super Nintendo and is considered one of the best RPGs of all time. It stands the test of time as some, one of the best stories, one of the best... Uh, Graphically for Super Nintendo, one of the most interesting fighting mechanics and systems, and as far as time traveling stories go, it is damn fun. And as you know, uh, any longtime watchers know I like time travel theory, time travel adventures. I watch Doctor Who. Um, so before we go in, we need to know the timeline of Chrono Trigger since it happens before Chrono Cross by a couple of decades. A handful of decades, actually. I think this lady, who's zero at the end of Colonel uh, Trigger, is like not is somewhere in her teens, maybe twenty something at the beginning of this. I don't remember. It's been a long time, by the way, since the last time I played Chrono Cross. So I'm going in here semi-blind, not remembering a lot of Chrono Cross. So that said, Chrono Trigger, I've replayed dozens of times, so I have a pretty good memory. Now, one thing you need to know about Chrono Trigger is it's a time travel game. And because it's a time travel game, it delves into the theory that time travel causes divisions and timelines, allowing different dimensions, different timelines to open up, allowing them to sometimes interfere with each other or throw you down different paths because you time travel. Now, Chrono Trigger broke this a lot of times. How it ran was a little confusing. For example, there's a one part where a uh, lady's ancestor dies, and then she dies, and that's the grandfather theory. However, the theory of diverging timelines, the grandfather theory shouldn't work. It just opens up a different timeline where your and where your line doesn't exist, but you yourself are from an alternate dimension, so this doesn't affect you. For example, another place that did this was uh, the Avengers movies. They did the divergent timelines. Let's say that Captain America went to the past and accidentally ran over his great-great-great-grandfather or something, even before he was born, and Captain America wouldn't die because this is a diverging timeline where he no longer exists, but he still existed in his original timeline. It was just diverging timelines. So the grandfather theory shouldn't have existed. That's the biggest problem I have with Chrono Trigger. There's other things, like we're not entirely sure if their time traveling ship and or the key hops these dimensions correctly or if they're hopping into the future in the new dimension is never fully clear. My theory is they do hop dimensions because they seem to appear back in their original at the end of everything, despite all the changes. But there's also changes to the game 
considering the diver the things you do in the past so maybe not it's all very confusing but it's also well done well somehow and it's really fun to play it's still one of the best games ever if you haven't had a chance to go play chrono trigger go to steam right now and go play chrono trigger one day i might go get it on steam and play it for you and you'll watch it after i'm done playing this so in timelines that are major there are several if you begin several million years before Chrono Trigger's uh, main event, uh, before Chrono himself, uh, there was a war between humans and a reptile species. And the reptile species were winning because the reptile species were more advanced in technology and magic. And humans were just dumb cavemen. And they were losing. And then a giant space parasite named Lavos came to the planet. Lavos wasn't just a space parasite. It was intelligent. Um, it could tell, it could see through time as well and be able to tell the future. In one timeline, it landed on Earth. What, that is the central timeline. In that timeline, its invasion of Earth when it lands destroys the entire dinosaur, lizard people, cities, and allows humans to become the dominant species. There's still some lizards left, but they're very little, and they're treated as monsters, and they go out as outcasts and stuff like that. There's not much of them left. Humans become dominant in the main timeline, and they create kingdoms. The uh, Lavos breaks off a piece of itself and gives it to them to further their uh, further their ability to spread. And this is all in its own needs at the very end of everything. But in the alternate timeline back there, Lavos is able to see into the future and see that there were lots of hardships, including its most likely possible death. If it landed in Earth, so in a diverging timeline that doesn't come into play until I think this game, it passed up Earth. It said, nope, I'm out, and passed up Earth. And in that timeline, the dinosaurs, the lizard people, defeated humans. I don't know exactly if humans survived at all, but the lizard people became the dominant species and created a dragon uh, paradise of lizards and dragon gods and stuff like that. Um, so we go on the central timeline for a while, all the way up into Chrono's, uh, birth, and then Chrono going to a fair. Chrono's just this kid, slash swords kid man, who's just living his life, and he goes to a fair. He runs into this lady, and they go to a event where Chrono's best friend is making a teleporter. But they end up messing with the teleporter using this lady's, uh, and end up traveling through time. This is when they find out that the lady was actually the princess of Chrono's time, and she's been mistaken as the actual princess of the past, in medieval times. However, due to the mistaken grandfather they're used here, which shouldn't have happened, they don't go rescue the actual princess of that time, and thus the princess of Chrono's time vanishes, because both of them die. Um, in theory. Again, that shouldn't have happened. That was my biggest problem with that. They go on from there. They rescue the princess. All that happens. They find out that they get yeeted through space and time into the future. And they find out that in the future, this giant space parasite named Lavos comes up from the ground and destroys all of humanity in an effort to absorb all that energy and pretty much to leech off humans and the planet and leave it pretty much almost dead and dying. The humans still exist out of that, but there isn't much time left, most likely, on the planet. And then it'll spread its seed throughout space so that its children can do the same thing. So they make a plan to diverge the timeline, change the future. So they go back into the past, and they end up in, I believe that's when they end up in uh, the Kingdom of Zeal. There's the Kingdom of Zeal and in the past. And one time they end up in the past where they help defeat the lizards. Right, but will help almost defeat the lizards right before Lavos fall and witness that. In another timeline, or another area, and I really don't remember how the order of this is. It's been a while, stuff like Grand Trigger, I guess. They end up in the Kingdom of Zeal. The Kingdom of Zeal happens before medieval times but after ancient times. And the Kingdom of Zil is more technology advanced, it has some major magic, and it's a floating city. This is due to uh, the machines created using technology, I think, somehow influenced or created from 
Lavos's piece. Lavos's piece is called the Something Flame. The Blue Flame. It's been a long time. Holy cow! But it's this weird-looking, really poly flame-looking thing. You'll see it in this game too. It's a major central of both stories, and they use this flame to uh, influence both their magic and technology. But um. Magus, a character they met, they met in medieval times and tried to summon Lavos and ended up uh, almost getting everyone destroyed, he is also from the Kingdom of Zil and ends up going to the past with them to try and stop both Lavos and the Mammon Machine, a machine that a woman, the queen, who has gone crazy under Lavos' influence, has created an effort to raise Lavos and gain ultimate po godlike power. And honestly, she kind of does gain almost godlike power when you fight her. She's not human anymore. Um, let's see. You go through all that. Um, you end up fighting Lavos. Lavos actually kills the main character. That was the first game I ever played. Oh, I guess spoiler. That kills the main character. Now there's kind of a side quest where you can rescue him because of time diversions. Uh magical powers. I won't tell you how, I won't go deep into that, but it's important. And in the timeline here, in the canon timeline into this game, Chrono is saved, and uh, they end up, towards the end, they end up going to fight Lavos. Now, Lavos diverges the timeline again here. He, there's a part, he somehow diverges the timeline into two parts here, then he eats himself further down the main timeline. This is confusing. I don't know exactly how that works. But you go fight Lavos, right? Um, you go, I think, into the future to fight Lavos, but I don't remember. Or maybe it's out of time. You go fight Lavos, and you end up killing it. You know, defeating it. Chrono ends up defeating it. Chrono goes back to um, Mary, the princess, and they become the new king and queen. And that's... Okay, for right there, but Lavos also eats itself as well further down the timeline past its death. To do that, it combined, combined it, combined, whatever, itself with uh, a Magus' sister named Scala, who was a, I don't know if she was psychically powered, it's been a while, but there was some kind of special power to her, and Lavos uses that power for his own gain. So he eats himself down as the Dream Eater, I believe. Um, and if you get the DS version of Chrono Trigger, 3DS, 3DS or DS version, you can actually fight the Dream Eater, but it's too powerful. It's twice as powerful as Lavos, and Chrono can't defeat it. Chrono, Magus, everybody fails at defeating it, no matter how hard you fight. The end of the game is lost there. Um, and that becomes important in this game. So, in between... Chrono Trigger and this, and I think they explained it a little in here, but it's barely explained. I glossed over it a few times I played in Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross. I don't remember them mentioning it much. So I'll tell you now that the in between Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross wasn't pretty. Um, Chrono and the Princess's Kingdom was overrun, uh, and Chrono dies. In fact, I think most everybody dies. Now, there are a few remaining characters. Um, Chrono's best friend, the technician, goes on to, I think, to create an orphanage. And she adopts this little blonde girl she finds on the side of the road. If I remember correctly, the little blonde girl is supposed to be a piece of Scala or something like that. I don't remember. Sort of Silent Hill style. Um, then she adopts her, and that goes into this game here. I won't give away too much. And, um, there is a character named Glenn in here. I don't know if he is somehow related to the Glenn from the past. He, it is only been, like, maybe 20 years, so he could be the same Glenn. Glenn in the past was a uh, knight for the queen who got turned into, the queen in the medieval times, got turned into a frog and ended up um, in Chrono's team. However, in the game, I believe he's supposed to have gone back to his time, which means if he didn't stay in the central modern time, it would have been several centuries between his games, or maybe it's his ancestor or something. I don't understand. I don't know if they ever explain it. 
another thing to explain here is there's another diversion timeline right before this game where they created something called Radical Dreamers, which is on this, and maybe we'll play it later. Radical Dreamers was a uh, sort of a text-based adventure that uh, followed Magus as a character named Guile uh, trying to find his sister Scala. Now, that story was almost thrown into Chrono Cross. However, Chrono Cross, with 40-plus characters, was seen as too big by its creators, and they ditched the Magus storyline. However, left Guile. And you can see parts of how Guile has forgotten who he is and uh, references that he may still be supposed to be Magus, that they left parts of that story in. But not all of it. Um, I don't know why they would leave, take him out and then leave his sister somewhere in there. But yeah, that's all I really have for you right now without going into further depth and spending like two hours to talk about Chrono Trigger's timeline, because holy crap. If you want to go learn more about Chrono Trigger Timeline, I recommend going Googling it, because you'll find it. It's complicated as hell. Um, there's so many interwoven issues, and it goes into Chrono Cross. Now, in Chrono Cross, there's three timelines you need to keep track of. There's the central timeline, and then there is a timeline divided that you'll learn about later, caused by something that happened to the main character, Surge. In one timeline, Surge lives. In another timeline, Surge does not live. There's one with and one without Surge, and that's the biggest change in that timeline. Then there is the timeline where Lavos didn't land, the dinosaur timeline. That timeline gets pulled into here by actions that you'll learn about later in the game, and that is an important one. Now, I don't know, I don't remember which timeline that affects. I don't know if it's the Surge or No Surge timeline. It's been a while. But hopefully, they'll explain it more, and I'll learn as much as I can from this game since it's been a while since I played this game, and now I'm older and more into time travel than I was back then. Vibration function on. Also, that sounds like the typical Square Enix like, like uh, selection noise. Oh God! What, what the frick are we doing? Okay. We will leave him his main name. Yeah, you will notice that while the in the, they they changed the art style if you ever played, the art style looks more Dragon Ball Z. Chrono Trigger's art style was done by Akira Toyama. Toyama, I can't say his last name. Akira Toyama is Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball. So all the characters kind of look Dragon Ball. His Chrono looked like Goku with spiky red hair. Um, his friend Luca looked like Bulma, kinda. Uh, Princess kind of looks like Bulma. Why does all his ladies look like Bulma? <laughs> now, when they originally did Chrono Cross, they did not have Akira. Akira didn't come back, and the original one of the original creators, like the main creator of Chrono Trigger, didn't come back saying, "Oh, it didn't need a sequel." But the, some of the writers, some of the old team came back like, "Yeah, we're in for a sequel." But in the recreation here, they've made the look more aesthetic towards Chrono Trigger, thus the new Dragon Ball-ish looking Surge, who I think that's an awfully cute freaking picture. I, thought, I like it. I like the new picture. Oh, God. <laughs> the graphics, the PS1 graphics, my eyes, they're melting. Someone call a doctor. I honestly don't remember this. I mean, I remember it, but I don't really know what's going on here. Judging by the dragons, this has something to do with the old uh, third timeline? I also think this might be a dream sequence, but I don't remember. Oh! What is it, Surge? Who's Van? I don't remember Van. You look troubled. You look troubled. This is it. There's sound turning back now. I'm giving it that look because it's got the glasses on. Wait, come on, Surge. Van. Just you wait, Luke. Today's gonna be your day of reckoning. Don't ask me to do girl voices right now. Say you have care. It's not that it'll do you any good. I forgot she was freaking like Irish or something. In Scottish, maybe. <laughs> Search doesn't talk. I think it's this. 
typical fast protagonist. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell the difference. When this game came out, I had FF8 style graphics, and you can't see their eyes or anything. You can see their eyes and mouth. There's a lot of difference about how you run. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I also don't remember this has a combat where you can just run into randoms, or do you have to run into the people to get it, like, from the trigger? What's that crystal-like... Oh, what's that crystal-like thing? Don't know why I turned to British. Boy, some kind of switch bug us. So close, yet so far. Our <laughs> voice. There's gonna be a minute with voices. Yarg, I'm Surge. I dress like a pirate yarg. Little bit of lag. I heard the PS5 was a little laggy on the game. That don't sound good. Oh, that don't look good. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I guess we're fighting. Let's hope we're strong enough. That does not look good. Wow, so I use this combat system, it's so weird. Damn. Stop hitting me with your arm, you weirdos. There's a song right there. That song's from Promo Trigger, too. Use remaining power and elements from Battle for Healing. Oh, don't bat me! Can't bat me if I run away. I don't think leveling up here matters. I really think this is just some of my dream sequence. It's been a while. Um. Oh, it's the point to go on that door. I feel like I should have went straight, but I have no idea. There's a dead end over here, too. What was the point of this door? Just to get us a loss? Um, I guess we go to this door. It has a symbol on it. That was a switch. That is. Oh, now we can go up to where Mr. Stompy Butt is. Double border? Hello, border. Beat me up, Scotty. Nope. Oh, Oi, what the bloody hell just happened? What are we doing out here? Whoa, bugger, we're so high up. Is this thing floating? 
You feel like your mommy passed through the floor just now. There sure is some fort essence. You're right, mate. You've been acting all weird. We don't know what's up ahead, so just stay on your toes, eh? That's interesting in your phones. Oh, hey, this might be a lady. Good morning, Serge. Serge, good morning, Serge. And then someone's just like standing over you and it's a lady. Come on, Sylvia, get up. Oh, I remember this song. The Awakening? <laughs> Told you it was a dream sequence. Ooh, those are some rough textures in the background. What the hell? It's supposed to be that rough? I need to like clean up this game a little. And just leave the rough textures from the PS1 version? Look at this thing, it's such unclean clipping. I wonder if that's just a mistake. Or they just left the art style to be. It does look like it's supposed to be like a painting, I guess. That makes sense, I guess. Just that pine right there looks extra rough. Okay, don't talk to me, lady. Jesus. Good morning, Serge. You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. By the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? Lena came by to see if you were up, but you, young man, were still off in Never Neverland. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if make them angry. I want to note that, oh god, both Chrono and Serge have kitties. These are good people. Good people have kitties. Oh no, a kitty was stuck. I love two kitties. He ate cute. Oh, my kitty. My kitty now is there with me. Sergi, check out this sawfish. Awesome, ain't it? Poppy cut it down south by the old Nido Triangle. Nobody likes going down there, though. They all say it's creepy. But this sucker sure looks tasty and mmm. Still alive, still the thing, man. Yo, sirs, what do you think of the sawfish? You ever seen one this size? Ha! <laughs> this has got to be from legendary This has got to be from the legendary Dragon King Palace. Wouldn't you agree, Surge? Uh, I'm gonna be nice. You're probably right. You think so too? I knew it. I just knew it. If it is really true, then from here on out, happiness will be rolling into my life. This is what pick up, money will start pouring in, I'll be able to repair my roof, I'll varnish my boat, buy a new cell, eat as much wood gut pasta as I want, I can turn them enough. Ah, life is good, I said turn wrong. Yeah, right, who am I kidding? That would definitely be too good to be true. But thanks, anyway, Serge, haha, <laughs> thanks for playing along. Here's a little something for you, give it to the girl you like. The moto scale without lifting a finger. <laughs> I wish the legend was true, though, the Dragon King Palace. There aren't enough dreams out there lately. Huh. His mom or whoever. Hello, Serge. Beautiful day today, isn't it? Sure feels great outside. Ah, just being able to bask in the sun all sure is. All day is sure is a nice change. They say it cleanses up one's spirit, but at our age, we've had enough cleansing. <laughs> Yes, I wouldn't. I know. I wonder if those outsiders are back digging now that. Back digging now that the rain's let up. They must be conducting some kind of investigation up there in Fossil Valley. Can't comprehend outsiders. Why would they want to dig up a place like that? Because it's got fossils? 
Why, hello, Serge. Can I interest you in something? I have great elements. What would you take a look? Show me your elements. Sure, just one second. Do I have any money? It's early on. I have 100 gil. I have cure. Tablet. So tablets are like cure, but they go away. I think cure is constant and stays on you forever. Blue, blue status effects, poison, and green status effects. Aqua bean. I don't remember what element surge is supposed to be. Actually, I kind of want to see your weapons now. Oh, you need shit to build shit with. I remember this. Okay, Surge, you water. And it white. What is white? White holy? White life? White light? I don't know what white is. <laughs> it's been a while. Probably they teach us stuff. Let me up and down. Okay, so he's got tablets five, cure one, nothing in his third spot. Gonna work for now, two tiers technically. Item. Auto scale. The colorful scale of a large lizard used to make necklaces that are all the rage in Arnie Village. Time shifter. Also, flow of time. What? Okay. That's not something you had in the original game. Well now, you're an Arnie. What brings you to here to this quiet seaside village? Oh, it's you, Serge. Just don't be going near Hydra Marshes to the east of you outside. Don't you run into those evil dwarfs in the Hydra now? Say, why don't you go talk to the village chief before you set out? This house is just past those gates down yonder. Talk to your mom before I head out. Oh wait, you're an old person. Mom guy. Looks like the Viper Festival will be cancelled again this year. Only celebration of El Nido, Archipelago, down the drain. There hasn't been anything good to talk about since the army took poor took army from poor took over the island three years ago. We wouldn't have to put up with this situation if the general Viper and the dragoons were still here. That's right, there's still like military unrest since the war that took Chrono a while ago. Yo, Serge, have you heard anything about those group of thieves up the mainland? I haven't. You really haven't been keeping up, have you? It's pretty big news, even in El Nido. Those mysterious thieves have broken into a bunch of houses up in the mainland. The cold-hearted bastards still go any, to any extreme to get money or jewels. Even powerful nation of poor can't keep, seem to get a hold of them. I think they call themselves the Radical Dreamers. But wouldn't you want to run into those bandits? Puppy! It's a chihuahua pig or something. Humana, humana, humana. She sure is pretty. What a knockout that dancer Miki is. She may be a character. That poor town of Termina has its share of dancers, but no one I say, no one compares to Miki. But mind you, I've never actually seen Miki dance. Oh, how I would love to see them jiggle. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about her arms, of course. Uh-huh. Whoa, Serge, don't tell Grandma about this. Uh-huh. I'll tell you, Grandma, everything. I talked to the shirtless chef. 
Also possible. I'm also positive being shirtless is dangerous and unsanitary in the kitchen. Tasty, cha cha cha, healthy, cha cha cha. Why don't you try my heck ran soup? That's my specialty. Soup made soup exclusively from heck ran bones. Don't mean to brag, but nobody can make soup like I can. Cha cha. Cha ha ha ha. Well, uh, I thought I could try the soup. Why, hello, Search. Do you want to hear the real truth about the world? Instant insanity leads to chaos, then to solitude. The fruitless effort of adding meaning to what is meaningless. A lone crimson tear falls into the sea. The echo of the remaining star cries out in the infinite vacuum. The least I can do is send my distant prayers over the wind of time, setting sail on dreams. Well, how'd you like it, Serge? Were you moved? I've been dreaming about becoming a poet since I was little. I want to cross the continent and make a name for myself with just a pencil and paper. But look at me. I'm in this puny village in the middle of nowhere. We've just seen it in its rundown shack. What do you say about my restaurant? You can quit any time, you know. Yikes. Just kidding. I was just kidding. I'm just saying how good the work environment is. Hmm. Up here. More puppies! <laughs> You're cute, ugly puppy. Found search on Hecker, though. Surge found Ivory Helmet. Surge is apparently just one of these guys who just steal crap from people's houses. It'll make my defense go up and my magic defense go up by unknown amount, actually. Oh, okay, so I have my defense. Ah, who knows? Put it on your head. There. The leg bone of a wild Hecarin, perfect for making a stock to be used in soup and stews. This music's like very pretty and it will put me to sleep. What? No answer. Wait, stop that. Answer is just a barrel. I don't ever remember seeing that before. Hello? Hey, Sergi, do you know what's the popular among the village girls these days? A necklace made from Komodo dragon scales, you know, those monsters that eat fire. I want to get some for Kiki, but there's no way I can beat those monsters. Oh no, if I don't do something about that now, Kiki might start liking Lolo. Boy, am I in a fix. Can I talk to this lady? Can I talk to this girl or what? Whoa, she has a picture. Yo, Sergi. I heard you totally blew off Lena this morning. I didn't think you had it in you. That was a real gutsy of you. I guess that kind of shows her who's boss, eh? Don't tell her I said so, but my sister is a bit too quick to lash out. Oh, it's her sister. Could you be like, could you like make her be a little nicer to me? You have my support all the way. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. <laughs> okay, so that was my house. What's over here? Oh, there's uh, Lena, by the way. I remember her. Um, what the? What the freak did I just find? What the freak's a photon ray? Is it an element? It's a light element and it's... He's light. Allocate. Let's 
says plus two. I don't know if that means it's limited or what. It's been a while again. That means we have a dog in here? I don't remember. I remember, but I don't remember. Oh, yeah, right here. This is my house. Interact on risk. Of the bone. I remember there's like special ways to get things. Yeah. Like I may be able to get the heck round bone to the dog again join me. I used to cry and run away at the mere sight of a pussycat. Do you remember? When you were about yay ha, you were attacked by a panther demon. I guess it left an emotional scar. It's good that you've overcome your fear. Girls will think you're weenie running away from cats. <laughs> cats are cute. Good morning, sir. Don't tell me you just woke up. Don't you know that the early bird is tomorrow? Nina's over on the pier. It looks like her mother asked her to babysit. I like the wood mills. That one's stuck. Hi, kitty. He has cats in his house and he's afraid of cats. The frick, mom. Or maybe that was on purpose. Mm -hmm. Yippee! And he's dead. Got eaten by the sharks. Oh, it's you, Serge. Beautiful day, huh? You caught me dozing off here. By the way, Serge, do you like the sea? Sure. Oh, really? Yeah, the sea sure is great. But just remember, Serge, don't take it too lightly. Usually you'll find the sea to be vast, steep, full of strength and energy. A kind of gentle, but once it becomes angry, it can turn into the most frightening monster you've ever seen, engulfing everything. C close your eyes and prick up your ears. Can you hear the cries of the countless men swallowed by the sea? The hidden secret of the sea whispers. I recommend you learn to sense the mood of the sea. That's if you don't want to join the fellows already at the bottom. Jesus. You're late, Serge. Sleeping in as usual, I suppose. You promised you'd go get some Komodo dragon skulls for my necklace, remember? Because you're late, my mom asked me to babysit the kids. Woohoo, Sergi, Lino, look at me. Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys should join us. It feels really good. Unlike the rest of you, we're not here to play. Don't swim out too far. Okay, gotcha. They're pretty freaking far out there. Kids sure have it easy. Remember when we were like that? Not a single care in our, or worry on our minds. How each day lasted an eternity filled with the newness, fun, and excitement. Yeah, growing up sucks. The important thing now is not our childhood, but my Komodo scale necklace. Yes, we have to face up the reality and live each day anew. So I want you to go to Lizard Rock and get some scales for me. I would join you, but I still have to watch the kids. It's your fault. You were late. Once you've collected some Komodo Dragon Scales, I'll catch up with you in El Paso Beach. Is that okay with you, Serge? Um, sure, no problem. Uh, no, I'll forget it. Good, that's what I wanted to hear. Okay then, don't stand around. Go collect some Scales at Lizard Rock. Let's see, I think three should be enough. Good luck, Serge, I'm counting on you. I already got one. Hello, Chi. Chi has come to watch the Pretty Bright game. Okay, I was supposed to go talk to- Ah, get the freak it out of my way. The leader of the gate over here. Oh, I pressed that. I have to wash my hands or I'll press the time. Oh, this one will teach me how to fight. Doggy. Come here, you weird freak. I got a bone. Me, I'm a bit busy right now. Maybe it's next time. What? I wonder what this lady says. I'm up here. Hey, Serge, you want to hear a secret? It's about Pashul. Sure. Okay, but keep it a secret. Okay, ready? Pashul is such a big pig. When it comes to eating, if she'll do anything if she's fed her favorite dish. Very unladylike, isn't it? Tempted by food. What's her favorite dish? I got a bone. Oh, Serge, how goes it? Would you like to join everyone for my lecture? 
Today's lecture is the fundamental attack in our developments. Sure, because I don't remember. <laughs> Excellent, a true man you are. Well, let's get on with it. Da -da -da. I remember this song too. Oh, 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 come on, Serge, don't hold back. First, here's some basic advice on tag missile. Listen up, young man. You know, the three different attack levels, weak, strong, and fierce. Each have a different accuracy or hit percent values, don't you? Every time you hit your opponent, each of these values increases, making it easier for you to next attack your hit and spark. Get down, you butt. What are you eating off my table? A good strategy is to start with... You're like a dog. You're supposed to be a cat. Stop eating stuff. Just random stuff off things. A good strategy... Oh, I'm gonna sneeze now, guys. Sorry. Oh, no. I'm allergic to orange cats. Is to start with weak blows, which have the highest chance of succeeding, and then build up to strong and fierce blows. So rather than attacking really nearly, you should aim to build up your hit percent. If your fierce attacks don't hit home, you're just wasting energy. Ah, oh, so as I hit the lower ones, my hit percent attack increases. If I get like a 99% on the threes or twos, it'll be better. Strong. Fierce. Ow. Take my Kamehameha! Oh, it is like Kamehameha, or Final Flash. Oh, 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 you're not even close! Don't be trusting your hit percent too much, everyone. As long as it's not 100%, you're still on risk of missing taking sleep. Sometimes a face must muster up the courage to use strong and fierce attacks. Straight dark, too. Oh, am I supposed to be hitting you? I'm sorry. So let's check out the use of elements. Oh, sorry. Each time you consider you use the same color element, the effectiveness of the colored element group increases. Here, I'll show you. Let's fill up all the film effects here of use with the color blue. We'll try using blue elements. After they do. Oh, that's right. Element box up there counts. So here, myself. Hey there, hurry up and turn the field effect trivia's blue for crying out loud. Don't you know how to use them? Use them elements or something, young men? If that's the case, then listen up. It takes some explaining. First, you gotta choose attack to do your physical damage to your opponents in order to get started. Weak, strong, fierce attacks, blah blah blah. The current level is the number that <laughs> that tickles cheap. Blah blah. Oh, I nearly forgot to tell you, you won't accumulate my any power unless you actually succeed in your opponent. Be we careful, you can't afford to miss. Discharging the accumulated power is what using elements is about. Once you build up some power, you'll be able to choose some element option in the battle menu. It's like the blah blah blah, I already know all that. What are you blind? Well, you'll be able to use them again, so don't hold back. Even if I say this, you still have to stress that you have to consider the appropriate time to use your elements. Oh, but wait, I'm reading something important in my old age. There are some elements that disappear in a puff of smoke each time you use them. The element X1 tablet is just one example. These are called consumable elements, and they have a symbol X1 in front of their names. These don't regenerate after each battle. However, the benefit of such consumable elements is that you can allocate up to five of them in the same element grid space. Doing, them, doing so allows you to use several of them in the same battle, unlike basic elements, which normally can only be used once in oh god, he's a lot of talking. Blah blah blah, consumable elements, blah blah blah. Oh my god, dude, stop me. Each time you use element, your power level, as shown by the L love, will go down. It's just simple subtraction, really. Okay, I'm just gonna skip the models of this. Build.
Oh shit, you see him, you're something blue. Did you just kill me? He just wanna shot me. Oh, 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 is that too much for you? Sorry about that, young man. Conversely, when there's a lot of blue in the field with that tributes, elements of the opposite color red will become weakened. To try to turn your enemy's attack pattern until the field is the opposite color of his attacks is a form of defense. This strategy of using elements is sure to come in handy, so put it to good use, Sonny. Oh, was that? You learned something there, boy? Anyway, I guess it's time to bring this lesson in. Here you go, ha. What the frick? I just wasted a tablet. You just killed me. You killed me, too. Pooped already, eh? And you're still so young. Oh well, don't let it get you down. Come any time soon, Sonny. What did he just do? Oh, he restore everything on me? Okay. Oh, I did not get- oh. Hey. That's how I do this. Let me talk to her and see if I can do this. Oh. Oh, is that a hackerin' bone? Sister Jipu, our present for I? How'd you know? Me mm, to accept or not to accept? Ahem, me accept your pay present, and me shall help you. We will do anything you want. You will be honored to be by your side. We will use pretty Miracle Power X. We will do it, Sergi Boo. I guess in this chrono theme. Name is Pashul, our first character. Thank you for helping me. It's boring playing alone. Come on, Paul, let's play. Me, I'm sorry. Me, I'm a bit busy right now. We'll play later, okay? How boring. But I didn't have you on a face grandpa earlier. Gee, what are you doing? Get off the tables and stop eating things. You're a, a dog. Oh god, look. You made me hit the slow-mo. I don't know why they put no slow-mo. It's a weird one. Oh god, this is not what I thought it was. That's exactly right, Serge. There it is, the record of fate. It records everything, good or bad. If you happen to cross one of these, don't forget to record everything you've done so far. Think about how terrible it would be if you lost your past. There wouldn't be anything you could do about it. If you listen closely, the record of fate will tell you lots of things, like what you should be doing next. And when you can't hear anything anymore, well, I guess it means you don't have a future. When that happens, you should just go home and go to sleep. There isn't anything you can do to change fate. Jesus. If you want to record what you've done so far, step up to the record of fate and open the menu. Then select the block that will allow you to follow the directions to save. Easy, isn't it? You should go look for another one. I'm going to be here for a while. Oh, and yeah, if you go down to the world map, you can save without a record. No cutting in line, Zerge. Back alive. Never. Eat it. I'm going to save. Ah. Oh. Now you eat my butt. I'll cut where I want to. Time sure does fly. Chief Raidus has been living here for four years already. He is sure he is such a bright, cheerful man. Everyone in the village really likes him. I wish he could stay here forever. Am I freaking slow motion again? Gosh darn it. We get our fingers off the triggers. Oh, it's you, Zerge. I think the chief is outside. He said he was going to teach some self-defense. He may be old, but he saw us fighting him. You just better not misbehave, or else the chief will have to track you down on you all. Jeez, Zerge, is that that bad? Do we misbehave a whole bunch? We came all the way here to search for legendary trade, but our funds ran out. Once I'm done cleaning here, I will have some yard work. We gotta do something to cover our expenses. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have tried to persuade Sir Toma to look for treasure on the Zen Zenon continent. I don't know what that means, but okay. And of course, looking anywhere in this game apparently gives you stuff, so just looking around, you never know what might have something in it. 
these pots. Everything in this pot. Any pot in this pot. Watermelons. Look like watermelons. Nothing. Yeah. Ooh. Who the heck is this? Yo, oh, my name's Toma the 14th. The people usually put a great explorer for my name. You look like someone from Final Fantasy 9. And are you wearing a. Yeah, you are wearing a shirt. Okay, I thought you were naked. The greatest for Toma. I was just looking around for treasure. I have a sixth sense, you know? Yo, I wasn't gardening. I uh, was really looking for treasure. <laughs> Come on, puppies. Give me that look, cheap. I like making that noise. <laughs> Ooh, the light made me dizzy. Auto save. Is there an auto save feature? I should be able to save save. Gotten some stuff before coming here. More tablets. Those are Komodo dragons. I think I need to kill it. Oh. No, wrong way, wrong way. Ah, you idiot. I need to do is come back out and do that again, I guess. Come back out and do that again. Oh, nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so I come this way. Start that way. Push this this way. Why did I only get one hit? Ping, 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 boom, but nah. Oh, come on, let's go. There we go. Sort of safely away. That's two of three. I want to walk away. Now, if I didn't eat this, what's in this chest? I wonder how powerful these things are. Each one. Oh, God, we're fighting me.
Cure myself on here. I don't have an element on it. Or uh, whatever posture is. Element on posture. Uh, Surge's weapon would always call a swallow. Double sided uh, slate staff sort of thing. Oh, here we go, Pashul. Pashul is yellow, but doesn't mean I can't give her. or him. Fireball. No? Doesn't have anything else. I do believe if you match it up, sort of like Surge Egg has a. Uh... Photon Ray, I think Photon Ray is uh, powered up under Surge since he's the light color. And anything yellow with Fashul would be further. I don't know if it's the up and left or down. Um, well, yeah, I'm close enough to down. Let's go down. Brick. Ah. What are we doing? I don't think I understand something here. Silver loop? Like it piercing? You guys don't want to fight if we don't want to fight you. So, exactly, do we get this one then? idea. Well, it doesn't make any sense. Maybe we have to go up this way? Sorry dude, because you're in the way.
by a fireball. I'm not even sure I was blue, so he probably strength against red, but we'll try anyway. for partial. to go through you to get to this one, sorry. These guys aren't even attacking me, they just come my way. I'm so bad. They almost hurt too. Thirty-eight against blue. Maybe white's strong against blue, or this is a strong mass attack. So obviously, fire will be weak against water. Water, you think the weakest? Electricity, and I think electricity might be what yellow is. But don't hold that on me. Yellow could be something completely different. So it's pretty good grinding if it isn't. Nope, it did. Gosh ah. darn <laughs> The PS1 timing is perfect. Perfect timing. Perfect timing, G. That's bull. That is purple dog shit. The soul's difficulty comes with the jumping chain mechanic of this game. Got it. Target was down. Marshall needs help, but I can't do anything yet. I'll pull it next round if it doesn't die. Oh, there we go. It's gonna squirt at me. Oh, it's gonna wave. I see some blue out of light, I think it up.
Fireball. That doesn't hurt a lot, does it? Where? It's got Sorgatos. Okay, I'm gonna use consumables up because I think that hurt quite a bit. What am I at? 495. I should have got more tablets. Alright, okay, that's all three. Intercepted call suggests Russia bombed to own town to spark an outrage. Oh, Russia. So Russia actually is guilty of perpetuating what is said Ukraine was doing. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, Also, purple tablet? I can get around on the thing. The new new is a little weird. I don't need you, I already have three. Not important. I think we're supposed to leave to some beach area. I'm not sure if this is the area we need to be in to get to the beach area. Oh, we're going somewhere else. Cape Howe. Army Village. I grow marshes. Fossil Valley. I guess we're going to Cape Palace is over here. Now we'll head back to her because I'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to be. Oh, these guys. Oh, heal. Elements, allocate, you. So there for now. I know you're not green, but whatever. I don't know if we can reallocate once it's in. I'm going to have to fight you if you don't back the frig off. Thank you. I know, I know. Grind, 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 whatever. Found some bones. Surge and Lena forever. Oh, okay. I don't know if Surge or Lena wrote that. So Surge wrote it cute. Lena wrote it with her kind of two would have gotten earlier creepy. <laughs> no offense, Lena. It may be offense. It depends. Get in my way. If you walk my way, I will fight you. Honestly, I have no idea where else to be going. I'm gonna take 
just factor her on the tier and see what happens. Nina, I got a dog. Come on, Serge, get your butt over to Lizard Rock already. I heard I think I really deserve about a hundred scales, but I guess they will do for now. Apostle Beach, you know, it's south of Lizard Rock. And I'll only accept scales you personally collect, but I don't want any that were just handed to you. Oh, I call pool booby. I call pool booby. How she's supposed to know if it was handed to me or if I pulled it off a damn lizard? I call pool booby. We're going to go south and just hand it to her anyway. So we'd go south here. Keep heading south, apparently. Well, I mean, we came from here. We can go back around this way. What's staring at you? Is it ghosts? Not the ghosts. Them, is that how it goes? He's slower than I am. Here, this should make her happy. Gonna pull skills off this whole lizard. And there's only two of them. Nice. Face. Dead. Oh. Oh, not, not dead. Oh. oh, what the flip a doodle is this? I think I should have saved. Don't let anything get blue. Do not let it get all blue. Not bad. That's it. Isn't that strong? Excuse you. I'm not missing something this big. Last legs, it looks like. It looks like fifty combo scales, thank you. A new growth level one to one. All we need is HP, magic, and whatever up. Strength up. We technically have four. However, I kind of want whatever in that chest now. I'm curious. Uh, 
Okay. Got some bones. Put a helmet on a dog. Doggo, we're gonna squeeze this over your head. Now you can't think because your brain squeezed inside the helmet. Massive head. Okay, that means you're gonna fight. I just wrecked some mama the motor dragon. Get a squirtle first. Is a way to trigger the smash attacks or special hits, trigger attacks, whatever you want to call them. from here. Hmm. There you are. I'm sorry I'm late. I hope you didn't wait too long, Serge. Oh, sure. I just wanted to see you here. Well, this is where you went off to. We, Lena here. What are you doing? Or how are you doing? Oh, are you two on a date? How we need think we should leave you alone? Oh, please, don't be silly. Push with two. Well, how'd it go? Did you get the Komodo Dragon Scales? Oh, they're beautiful. I'll be able to make great necklaces with these. Thank you, Serge. What's the point of getting one from that one guy if you can use it? You too, Pacho. Ahem, no problem. It sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come so often. As kids used to come past all the Komodo tags. Well, I guess certainly none of the monsters were really attacking you, except for the end there. Mama Komodo had a reason. The scene never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It seems here for eternity. It seems... It's probably seen many things, heard many things. And it'll probably be here rolling in and out, in and out, long after lifetime. Without a single change. Hey, Serge. Remember that time we sat and talked like this back when we were kids? With that gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves. Just the two of us talking. So you, you still remember that day? I remember. Really? You do? So you haven't forgotten about the promise you made that day? Yeah, that makes me happy. But aren't memories strange? Just when you think that you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back into your heart. I guess it's just lying there and wait, waiting for the right moment. Why, we might even remember this very moment someday. In 10, 20 years, when we're all grown up and married and have kids of our own. When that time comes, all we're welcome to the ghost room. What kind of life will I be leading? I wonder what I'll make with this day. We will never forget it. Yeah, I hope you're right. Uh, 
pretty sure you'll never forget this day. Um, Serge, there's been something I've been wanting to. What? Wrong search. Search. In certain places where timelines divide, there are thought to be places that are thinner than some others that allow you to uh, trip. So that looks a lot like FF8 water. That was a lot like FF8 water right there. Remember that. Remember what they said about Surge being attacked by a panther and that made him scared of cats. That's important. What are you doing there, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out here. It's dangerous to sleep face down in the sand. You're right, boy. What on earth are you doing lying down anyway? For a second there, I thought you might have been a dead body washed ashore. Good luck keeping track of who's who from what dimension. Huh? Where's Lena? You were the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's village babysitting. Well, I must be on my way. Anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know, you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. I don't want anything to happen to you now. Notice he's saying, boy. 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 Sergei Poo, you're finally up. Dumas, Dumas went whoosh and me was out cold too. Me woke up first, so me went go look around. But no sign Lina anywhere. You think Lina? From, that's hard to say, was spontaneously combusted? You wonder if he's okay. Put that tongue in your mouth so you talk like a normal dog. Hey. <laughs> Oh god, how far out into the water can we go? Uh, the zombie county. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever done this before. Game over, surge is drowned. What the freak, you just walk forever. Okay, there's a wall. <laughs> By the way, that's some shallow ass water out there. And then you expect to drop off. Most of the beaches are here. Because there's a good drop off of that out there. Pretty sure Pashul's been the ground dog. Dog chasing me. Also, I'm pretty sure coral like this shouldn't live above the sea. It'd be all dried out and dead. What do I know? Ah, uh, there's a lot of whatever those are. Fireball. That's possible move. Let's attack an instant puppy like that. Let's kill the Oprah fish.
Oh Gott. Fish is fish, is everywhere. I have that fee? Oh, sorry. You get scared off and leave. I'm gonna fight your mom again, dude. That first move like a bite? Thank you. And butts. Oh. This is a special. Take my command there. And then my final flash. Whatever. Last of the weird neck. That's your head right off his neck. I don't remember this max healing availability, but it may have existed. Wow. Um, more ivory helmets for whoever joins our party, I guess. We got lots of those. Lots of bone helmet. guys everywhere. Oh, look. Third found bones. Ooh, ooh, that's for well, he he's yellow. I believe that's yellow on that he's yellow. So element allocate um Right there, okay. So yellow for yellow. I don't remember how many you can allocate to them and if putting them next to other elements to do anything. So remember what we saw up here, this I think is gonna be different. There's some writing on the tombstone. Tombstone? There's some right now on the tombstone, but it didn't tell me what it was. Okay. There's a tombstone instead of like, uh. We love each other, it's a tombstone. I just didn't tell me what the writing was. Now you're in Arnie. What brings you to this quiet seaside village? There isn't much inside me here, so please just relax and stay a while. In this region, but I advise to stay away from Hydra Martians. Ever since the Hydra were wiped out several years ago, the water over there has gone bad. I hear the water is actually poisoned, but are not set foot there yet. Ah, I have tablets from you, actually. Hello, can I interest you in something? I got elements and stuff. Elements, please. I have. Oh. That should be good right now. Well, actually, let me see if I can build anything. I read the actor, but not for them. Spatula CH20. I don't know who the frick that's for. Every dagger, I think, is for kid. I don't know who that belongs to. With 40 plus characters, I don't remember all the characters. Every best down, equipped down, and equipped. Huh? Thanks. Come again. Thank you. Come again. Hey, hey, stranger, do you know what's popular among village girls these days? Races made from rainbow shells. I want to get some for Kiki, but those shells are hard, so hard to find. Oh no, 
I don't do something about that now, TP might start like a little Boy, am I in a fix. Yep, come here. Girl, talk to me. Oh, hi, are you new here? Lena, I think she's on the pier babysitting. She should be on the pier. Are you a friend of Lena's? Here's up ahead. Listen, don't be doing any mischief on the boats. The boat is like a limb to our fishermen. I guess outsiders like you wouldn't understand. Let's see, who else can we just see? I think it's pretty obvious now we're in a different dimension. Wow, this place is different. <laughs> oh, that's one of the characters. I remember him. Oh, what a hum. This here is Nikki from Magical Dreamers. A luck would have it, Nikki is holding a concert in Port of Town Termina. There is a heaven on earth. It pays to be of old age. I can't believe Ashley going to be able to hear Nikki's beautiful voice. Well, stranger, don't tell Varms about this. Oh, whatever. Perhaps the other one was checking out Lady. About her really. <coughs> this year's Viper Festival is going to be some event. You're going to have a famous traveling band there. See that poster over there? He's the lead guitarist and vocalist in the band. He dresses flamboyantly, but he drives the women mad. Young and old, it's a powerful show too. I remember if they have special moves. Yo, stranger, have you heard anything about the group of thieves up on the mainland? Yes, I have. Yeah, I guess tra travels fast, even down here on the islands. And they call themselves the Radical Dreamers. A bunch of show-offs. They're no different from psycho killers. Somebody freaks out in the world these days. This is a sign of the times. Hi there, haven't seen you around before. You from Permanent? How's it going over there? I bet everyone's really excited for the Viper Festival. Well, my poems? What are you talking about? I gave them ages ago. That's just a stupid dream. I was obsessed with them. I never did have any talent. But how did you know about that? Nobody knows about my poetry. It really doesn't matter anymore whether I'm not right whether I'm writing poems or not. Nobody gives a hoot about someone writing poems in a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere. Oh, a tiny little cafe in the middle of nowhere, huh? But just remember, dreams do come true. You honestly believe that? We live in the middle of nowhere, in this tiny little village. Leading small lives. Gee, get off the table, I can't read. Get down. Okay. Stop eating crumbs off things. Nothing's ever going to change, no matter how hard you try. That's what, just the reality of it all. Can I not talk to the lady? Can I not? No. Hello, young man. What can I do for you? What happened to cook that sweet funny, you ask? What do you mean my lesser half? My husband. He went on a journey to Russia. I have no idea where he could be. Oh, there's kitties instead of puppies. Anything under here? Bones? No bones? Tablet! Yay, free tablet. No kid even tell me. No answer. It's just a font. There's a pot exclamation. I mean, quotation marks. Is it not a pot? Is it pot? Is it a pot full of pot? Is it a pot full of pot smoking pot? Is it a pot smoking pot full of pot? I don't remember what this was when I first came in here, but I don't think it looked like this at all. Oh, that'd be cool to live like this on the water. It's all a storm game. I can't complain on him my son anymore. He hasn't worked in years. There's a time when he had his heart set on becoming a man of the sea, just like his old man. But now look at him, praying to that silly looking doll all day and night. What's he gotten into him? Ten years ago, my husband's friend lost his son. The boy drowned at sea at the tender age of seven, and soon after the boy's parents passed away too. Such a sad turn of events. That's when my husband changed. Never did I imagine he would dump up like this. His way of life has changed completely. Nope. People sure change right by time. Unseen to live in. It's disheartening, but there's nothing we can do. 
no one can change up to fight a time or fate. Uh, you're in the wrong series for that lady. Daddy always spends his down time downstairs. He won't play with me, and he gets real mad if I go down there, too. He didn't used to be like that. I think he doesn't like me anymore. Oh, that's sad. Let's go keep his ass. You. Get out of the Egyptian throne room and go play with your daughter, jackass. Oh, hello there. I just finished playing. Praying. You're kind of young with him. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. It's a good luck charm from the Far East. God, is this the character? Can you feel the love and affection oozing from it? It's just such an amazing message of love and courage. Oh, my battery's low. Think about it, my brother. How our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear. Or our spent yesterdays and our uncertain tomorrows. How we live a meaningless today. This holy item, filled with prayers, protects us and supports us. Come, my brother, let us pray together and bring peace of our minds and our hearts. Where can you find true love and peace of mind within Mojo? No answer. Answer. Seems just to be a straw doll. Can you give us something? Mother tail? Felt an aura of longevity from the aura of the cat. Not. What's that? What's that about? That is skull, no. He's standing in the middle of the Triforce, by the way. Let's pray together, my brother! Pretty sure you can do something with this, and it may be a character, but I don't remember. I don't know. Hi then. Maybe later. I don't expect to get all 40. I could set it on fire, and then maybe we're not afraid to do it anymore. Dinner table. I go trunk. He's a drunk. Where are we at on time, by the way? That ain't the right one. Wow, that's funky. One hour, 46 minutes. So we'll play for about five more, uh, 10, 20 more minutes. But my headset's running low, so if my headset goes out, we'll save and call it a day. Let's go see Serge's parents real quick. Oh, wait, Serge's quote unquote house, I should say. Oh, sure. The room looks different. Shushi Boo? Mama Shushi Boo, did you write that correct? It looks like a riddle to crafting. Looks like a pirate lives here. Oh, sure, look at Right, this room is three decorated too. You kind of look with right a rump room. It is so dusty in here. What are you doing here, man? This is my island. Well, I'll let you rest here for a little while, man. You want to rest, man? I'll forget it. Man. Oh, I do need a rest. I could use a little rest. Sure. Hey, good night, Moto Dragon, that fox. That'll be exactly 100 G, man. Didn't I let you rest here? Quit complaining, man. Not shirt. Freaking charge after the fact. Running some G bass in. Huh? Who the? What are you doing in my house? Bass is in the playground for kids, right? Go play outside. Who are you, mister? It's a Sergi Poo's house, isn't it? Or is Mama Sergi Poo? Huh? Who? Marge? Who the heck's that? I've lived in this house for five years now. Sorry, that name doesn't ring a bell. 
for five years. Is that true, mister? Oh shoot, this is really, really weird. Remember with all your gibberish, man, just get out of here. Remember with all your gibberish, Mr. Your doll worshipper. I said I don't know. Jeez, you're such a pest. Never heard of any Surge or Marge, okay? Maybe you hit your head or something? Maybe you hit your head or something. Maybe I hit your head. Maybe I throw a chihuahua at your head. Maybe I throw the big purple dog at your head. This is the house where, uh, my shoe came from. Does he still live here? This is my house. Keep out and beware, Mad Hecarins. We have embarked on wrong journey. Please do not look. I'm looking for I. Hecarins. That reminds me, the boy who lived next door was terrified of cats. That was more ten years ago. The boy was attacked by a panther demon when he was very young. I guess it left an emotional scar. Poor, poor boy. No one imagined such a tragedy would take place several years later. Oh, so he wasn't attacked and killed by the panther. He's drowned. Whatever. I was wrong. Greetings, Sunny. You're a new face in this village. I'm friend Alina, perhaps. You'll find me down there. Out there in the pier, baby sitting. Ah, let me out. <laughs> Stuck behind the chair. Lena, those sisters, where you are? Where? How could you just. There it goes. Okay, guys, hold on. Ah. Okay, it's really hard to play like this, so we won't be on for very much longer, but I want to finish some of this before we go out. Just texting me. I do. Okay, there we go. How could you just reap us and go back on your own? Go back? On my own? What are you talking about, Pashul? And... Who are you? We met somewhere before. Oh, I know that. Pashul? What are you saying, Lina? Hey, yeah, you. Don't be trying to pull any moves on Lena, you jerk. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. I'm going to pull the stupid plug off the wall. Hold on. I really need a better way to have this connected. Silly. Don't go swimming out too far now, you hear? Okay, gotcha. Uh, hello? Can I move? Oh, we're on slow-mo. <laughs> kids, I guess kids will be kids. Don't worry about them. Hmm, you know, you look like the boy used to live next door to me. What happened to him? What happened to him? Why do you want to know? It's really none of your business. That boy died. He drowned when he was very young. This all happened ten years ago. 
soon after his mother passed away too. I was still very young back then, so I don't remember too well, but my mom said his name was... Surge. I'm Surge. You're Surge? Oh, stop that. That's not even funny. The boy's dead, don't you understand? The boy, I guess I kind of liked him. If the boy was still alive today, I wonder what would have become of us. Sure is weird. Why am I opening up to you like this? Well, I guess there's no use thinking about the past. I'm like, Surge is going to come back. Always tells me I shouldn't dwell on the lost loved ones. You can find his grave up on the Cape Hal. Actually, why don't you go visit the gravesite? No one's been up there for a while. Well, I still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew up at you like that. Goodbye, stranger. Uh, hmm. The tranquil sound of the waves does it to me every time. It makes me so sleepy. I bet the lullaby we heard in our mother's rooms was kind of like this. If you, one day we will all return to the mother sea, embraced by her lullaby. And sooner for you, he falls asleep next to the frigate edge, weirdo. Okay, we'll go visit my grave before we call it a night. See what that does, and then save as soon as we can after that. Call it a night. Been about two hours. Have you heard of anything down? Anything about the El Nido Triangle down south? Everyone says it's really creepy over there. Some say you can hear strange voices. Some even claim to have seen a huge glowing egg down there, at the bottom of the sea. I tell you, adults are super superstitious. They kind of act all tough. This kind of this kind of stuff scares them. Notice that there's no fishy here. For some reason, Surge not appearing means they didn't go fish. Or didn't catch any fish. Or I must have been... I haven't been able to hit a big one lately, you know? I'm not really concerned about the money or profits. I just have an urge to, for a challenge. Come on, baby. I know you're out there. I need some excitement. Give me a big catch. You got a lot of good-looking fish. No! The village elder is a cat. Gee, you look happy about the cat. You want to be a village elder? Now I'm going to go there. I can't cook a decent meal if I don't have fresh quality ingredients. And then he complains about how terrible the food tastes. I can't stand it. Oh, they don't like the chief here. Where's the chief? The chief over here? Yes? You want to see the chief? Huh? Radius, who's that? Konji's our chief. There's no one by that name here. You must be mistaken. It's Gonji. You're a new face around here. We don't get many visitors. My name's Gonji. I'm the chief of Arnie. Why don't you stay and rest a while? Can offer any extravagant entertainment, but make yourself a home. We visited everywhere, right? Pretty sure we visited everywhere. So in this world, Postul's here, but they're on an adventure or something. I like this song, by the way, a lot. Out of the two map songs, this is my favorite. Okay, we'll go back to where I went the first time, just out of curiosity. Apparently it's Surge's grave in this world. Excuse me guys, I think I already got everything I need from you guys. Yo, why are you backing up? I was just like, I'm not doing anything with that. There's some writing on the tombstone. R.I.P. Our beloved Surge died age 7. Nobody can take anything away from him. 
nor can anyone give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. So you must be the ghost of the boy who died ten years ago, Surge. You speak it. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> you yeeted the freaking dog off the side. Sorry, Junior, but we have no business with your friends. We're just after you. Be a good boy and come with us. But, Sir Karsh, do you think it is truly that chap is a ghost? He seems like a perfectly perfect young boy to me. That doesn't matter. We found the boy here. Just as he said we would, didn't we? Now seize him! Hold your seahorses! Hold your seahorses! Ah, kid! I'm not gonna see eight ass CGs. <laughs> Who the? That's quite a leap. Out of the way, Missy. Don't you want to? You don't want to get hurt now, do you? Shut your trap! Oh, I didn't get read the rest of that. You have a problem? Do you have a sh any? Sh do you have a shaking idea of who you're dealing with, Missy? That's enough. Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you. Just come with us. Or else this ass of mine will have to start. To have to do the talking. For crying that loud, would you just shut up and get on with it? I'm gonna kick your sorry asses so hard you kiss the moons. <laughs> Fair enough. You leave us no choice. You'll regret this, Missy. Apparently, I'm gonna do a boss fight. I'm attached to the wall with my earphones. Let's back this. Okay, um. Pepper and salt might need to be taken care of first. Uh, not too bad damage. Thank you, miss. Sir, his innit knit color attribute is white. Right, that does it. Quick attack him with the opposite element color. Black. How unfortunate, unfortunate, sir, I do not seem to have any, sir. You nick him poop. You should always carry elements of every color. Then how do you how about you there? I'm shaking in my shoes to tell you this, sir, but I don't have any either. We'll have to let you start harsh show us how it's done. Useless fools. Uh the old men don't need magic when they can fight with their might. <laughs> In other words, none of them have black. White versus black, that makes sense. No kid. I wish she got a dagger for her. Bogey. Oh man, you got. Fire and green seems to make sense. Strong as him? 22 not bad, I guess. Bogey bogey. Oh my god, salt, go down. I hope I don't regret this. I do not regret what I did. 
Pepper's nice. Double fireball almost. I don't have a tablet. Okay, someone hits me with a big attack. Okay, me. on the rope. Stop whacking her, you butt. And down. Easy enough. Gosh, I said we shake it out of here there so we may live to fight another day. These aren't no ordinary brats we're dealing with. Damn it, cowards. As for you, Missy, we won't forget this. Ooh, I'm so scared. I'll be happy to take you on any time, Dinkos. Loose scum like you, ha. Huh? I don't know why he suddenly got her family voice all of a sudden. You're right, mate. Surge. Your name's Surge, ain't it? Hmm. Oh, me? My name's... Kid. Because apparently Luca did not have the most imaginative when it came to names. Oops, did I give her something away? Call me kid. Nice to meet ya. I just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on you like that. They just pissed me the bloody hell off. I wish I could beat on them some more. But why was that mob after you? What do you mean you never even met them before, eh? And forget it. Hey, Serge. How about you and me team up for a while? That cop fella ain't gonna just leave you alone, that's for sure. And I tell you the truth, I'm new to these islands. It's pretty lonely traveling here on my own. Hehe. <laughs> so how about it, Serge? Maybe it was fate we'd meet up like this. Refuse. Nah. Sure, can we rescue my purple dog though? It kinda got yeeted off the cliff. I need to make sure it's still on these. 
beauty mate, that decides it, then we're best mates now. Anyway, it'll be getting dark soon. I suggest we head back to Arnie and check up for the night. One surge. Don't try any funny stuff just because I'm good and all. Um, okay, kid. Calm down. <laughs> oh, we rescued Purple Dog. It's not in many pieces. Boy, let's get that Arches down to Termina. For sure, full speed ahead. Oh yeah, mate, I need a forgot. Let me give you this. It's a teleporter. You'll be able to switch your party members from afar. A real handy gadget. All you have to do is... Ah, uh, it's a pain in the arse to explain. Look it up at the menu. Surge received teleporter. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's look around here real quick and see if there's anything... Okay. What? You again? Give me a break, man. What do you want from me? I told you I don't know any Surge or Marge. I'm gonna check that weird scarecrow thing before we get outside and save. Also, I think I can get, get what's your name a knife. It may help. Show me armor. What color is she? She's probably blue, but I don't know. She's already got one equipped. Never mind. These are down, and these are equipped. Everybody has one but her. Oh, you know what? I got an extra one, didn't I? While we're here, check. She's red, not blue. Don't know who the Bonax belongs to, but not us. Okay, guys. It has been about two hours, give or take. Wrong button. A little over two hours. And I'm going to keep this about two hours each time we play it. I'm going to get to bed. I'm freaking tired after this week. Why do I have a message? message um we may play tomorrow morning on something or tomorrow evening we'll play a little bit of something tomorrow i believe i also have monday off so you may get something from there um we will return to this uh sometime soon uh so we can continue to play it and get into time travel shenanigans eventually i'll play chrono trigger as well um but i guess i'll see you when i see y'all peace and out guys Oh wait, I guess we should save just in case. Did I save? I don't remember. Let's save again just in case. I did not save. Good thing I remembered to. Peace it out, guys. I'll see you later.